today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Comics Designer Series Darwin Cook, figure number one, Batman. This is a new line of figures from the Designer Series brand under DC Collectibles. We get ourselves the Darwin Cook representation of Batman here, the Cape Crusader, in figure form. It doesn't look like he comes with any sort of accessories. We'll have to open this up and find out if that is 100% certain. Uh, spin around the back of the or side of the package. There you have the Darwin Cook's designs there. Batman, the very classic looking design of Batman. And on the back, the other figures available under this brand of Darwin Cook Designer Series consist of Batman, Supergirl, and Harley Quinn. Very excited for the Harley Quinn there. And then finally on the underside there, www.dccomics.com. You can also head over to www.comicshoplocator.com if you'd like to find out uh, if there's a comic book store in your area. You might be surprised. There might be one about five minutes down the road and you don't even know it. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the DC Direct or DC Collectibles, DC Comics Designer Series Darwin Cook, figure number one, Batman. More. Anyway, guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Accessory-wise, the Cape Crusader will not come with anything, sadly. Uh, even if he did, his hands are closed shut. There's no way to inco even incorporate an accessory with uh, Batman here. It also doesn't come with any sort of display stand, but uh, despite the fact he's slightly on the more bare-bones level, I really like the look of this figure. It looks like it was taken right out of the comics, and it has a simplicity to it that I really do like. Let's first have a look at his face, and we'll kind of go down from there. His face is, uh, well, if you're into the design aesthetics of it, like if you are interested in this sort of uh, artist design, then this Batman is for you. Because it does look like it was taken right from the comics. If this isn't your style of design, then this probably may not be a figure that you're going to gravitate towards. The mouth looks initially like it was just painted on. But upon closer inspection, it looks like it was actually sculpted into the mouth in instead. The ears are very long and the eyes very white. There's slight indications of little creases there around the bridge of his nose as well as the brow of his eyebrow, eye area. Um, as for the collar, I like how the collar comes down and it's creased right around where the, uh, the cape would have essentially done up near the front there. As for his bat emblem, very simplistic as well. I love all these little wrinkles and creases, like where the, the top of the outfit would have been tucked in or would have had the restrictions of the utility belt causing those little creases to be uh, created. Those creases also carry down into the lower underroo area of Batman. The coloring is very, I don't want to say pastel because when you think pastel you don't tend to think pastel gray but it's got a very pastel matte finish to it. It's not completely matte though. The areas such as the gloves as well as the boots, are very, very shiny black. It's almost jarring versus having the more neutral area of the uh, the lower underroo area of Batman, as well as the cowl and cape. But for some reason, it seems to go well hand in hand, the shininess of the black mixed with the matte of the black. As for Batman's cape, very wide cape there. There's the back of him underneath the cape there. I like figures like this because it reminds me of like the olden days of reading comics. Like not even not even talking about my age demographic. Like when I read comics in the 80s, the 80 comics definitely had a more d different design to it. But I'm even talking if you can be lucky enough maybe you're at an, a relative's house and you pick up like old comics. I know the comic design here is not really best based on the original comics, like the old say let's say 40s and 50s comics, but this it brings me back. It brings me back to reading like those old comics. If you go over to a relative's house and they just happen to say, oh, I, I've got some comic books that have been sitting around. Uh, you know, I've got them on my shelf. And you pull them out and you just like, you opened up to a world of where stuff was more simplistic, but uh, there was just more, it just seemed more adventurous back in the day there. 
And I feel like this figure, again, not basing it from the original comics back in the 40s and the 50s, but like the design of the character brings me back to that. Really like Darwin Cook's designs. Uh, now, in the way of his posability, Batman's head is on a ball joint. A good range of motion there. The ears, uh, I don't have too much of an issue with the ears, feeling as if they could break. They seem to be very sturdy enough. Full head, though, rotation on the, on the head there. Hinged on the shoulders, full rotation there. Uh, it's a newer figure, but it's a little more limited on, design, on uh, articulation. So only a, a basic hinge on the shoulder. There is no rotation there. However, he does have a rotation where the glove attaches to the, to the arm. There is a waist swivel as well. The legs you probably will notice the most, the legs don't hinge out, just more of forward and back motion, as well as a hinge in the knee, and unfortunately nothing in the lower foot. Spot's always a big sucker when it comes to Batman figures. Any really Batman figure brings something different to the table, while some of them are a little bit more simplistic in design, like Darwin Cook's designs here. Uh, I still like it. I still really like the design of it. It's very simplistic, but uh, it captured really for me when I was first getting in the comics. And we're not even talking like the 80s comics, but when I started picking up some of the old, old comics, it just brings me back to those sort of days. Spot's also going to be having a look at the uh, Supergirl, which despite even though Batman not having much in the way of accessories, uh, Supergirl kind of makes up for it because she's going to come with a lot of other things as well. Looking forward to getting her opened up. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, today we were having a look at the DC Collectibles. This was the designer series, uh, Darwin Cook, and this was figure number one, Batman. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.